Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm gonna be doing a vlog for you guys and I'm trying this new camera. I'm liking it so far, I just have to get really used to it. I'm watching It's Judy's Life. But if you can tell, I've got a really, really bad cough. Like I've had it for like three weeks now and it's just draining. It's taking it's taking the life out of me. <coughs> also been really obsessed with Married at First Sight Australia like my work colleagues got me on it and it's very addicting if you haven't watched it I definitely recommend also Love is Bind is finished I'm just like waiting impatiently for that reunion I need to see the reunion hello hi wow I like the Canon but it definitely is broken it's jacked up so like I need a new one now <clears throat> I bought the Sony as EV or whatever that everyone like has i just didn't get along with it at all i even filmed a vlog with it it was just not working but this one like hi Ooh, ignore the mess in the background it's really really handy and it's so discreet it's a dji osmo pocket 3. i have waited so long to buy this and i was awake with hubby till like 5 am and i was like let me check on the website and it was in stock but i didn't get like a notification because i put my email in to tell me like when it comes back in stock i know there's like a new one coming out and i'll buy it then but this for now i'm loving it so far i feel like you guys are going to see the vlogs come in it comes with a wide angle lens an even wider angle which is insane insane it's like a robot i want to see if married at first sight is on because i have to wait till the episode plays live before like, watching it let me take this off Ooh. that wide angle zoom lens is amazing like oh my god wait wait until you see the travel vlogs i'm so excited guys if you're not into it married at first sight australia i'm gonna watch that whilst i clean up morning i'm just about to go to the office and i've made my breakfast i've been craving this for so long and i say long maybe like a week i have this so often it's basically uh avocado on toast with like chili and it's got chili chili flakes chili salt and honey and obviously my cup of tea Oh my god, thank god it's not raining today because yesterday it was like literally pouring. I was soaked. One of my undergrounds was down so like I had to walk for like 20 minutes in the rain. I was hot because I had my big coat on but then I was cold at the same time. It's just, it was just one of those mornings, honestly. So today it looks a bit better. As long as it doesn't rain, I don't mind. Oh yes, guys. Okay, this is my outfit for today. Super simple. And sometimes it gets cold in the office. I'm going to wear this jacket with my coat because it's still cold out i got this from cos and it's just i'm honestly so obsessed with it just brushing my hair sometimes i realize i don't brush my hair before going out and that's like crazy i just feel like for your overall hair health you should be brushing your hair i need to go for a trim to be honest that is me done and i'll see you guys later i'm gonna go Oh my god, thank god it's the weekend. I'm just catching up on Married at First Sight Australia. I feel like I keep talking about it, but it's kicking off. It's so good. Um, yeah, I'm just cleaning. I like to get everything done like Friday evening so that the weekend I just have more time to do other things and have some time to like rest as well. Otherwise your girl will burn out. <laughs> if any of you guys are watching it, I really have high hopes for the older couple. So today, wearing kind of like invisible lashes they go under your lashes so that it doesn't even look like you're wearing falsies and it, i just really like the look of these i really like them some of these guys are like giving major red flags oh my god this guy's giving major red flags 
We're gonna get something to drink because there's nothing to drink except for water. So gum. We saw these two new ice creams at Tesco and one is, it's basically my Hackney Gelato and one's pistachio, almond and lemon and then the other one is clotted cream and strawberry I picked this one, hubby saw this I'm just gonna try these, I don't even know if they're gonna be good Actually, do you know what, I'm gonna try the clotted cream one first It's just very different Mmm, look at that Yum It's like a strawberry swell That is nice. It tastes like ice cream you get like a fun, at a fun fair, kind of. I had to get a, a, an adapter separately. Not only do you spend so much on that camera itself and insurance, you have to get the charger separately. And this costs £25 directly from DJI. Now, hopefully, I can just plug it in. That's all done. I've got the Huda Beauty uh, new lip glosses. I need to film with these ASAP tomorrow because I haven't had the chance yet. And it comes in this like really cute bag. Um, yeah, I literally have all the shades here. So, look at these stickers. Everyone's been talking about this new gloss bomb. I don't even know if it's new, but it's the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in Fuchsia Flex. So I need to film with that. Then I literally got a bunch of like MAC lippies. Apparently these are like apparently these are like reformulated or something. So again, I need to film with that. I've been obsessed with Tati lashes, so I get these on like TikTok shop. They're half lashes. This is half lash error. Also, like, uh, I was talking about my, I don't even know if I mentioned these, um, lashes on these, like, Invisi lashes. And you have, like, these really wispy ones, too, which I need to try out. I've got so much stuff from Anastasia, which is insane, because, like, I've been using Anastasia for years. And now, like, I get their products, which is insane. Their brow is... Like, literally I have everything to do my brows with. Oh my god, who remembers these Milani powders? Like, these were, like, really, like, viral at one point, like, years ago. And they sent these to me, so I cannot wait to try these. I think when I started vlogging, I mentioned these boots, which I really love. They're from ASOS, and, like, they have a square... Can you see? It has this, like, a square heel. And, like, it's a heel. And it's the only kind of, like, boot heel I've worn so far that doesn't hurt my feet but it's so annoying because like the heel started coming off so i had to put super glue and then inside a nail was popping out like the top of the nail and it was going into my heel and throughout the day i had to like put tissue paper to like soften like the bump but then at the end of the day like my foot really hurt so i have to throw these away but i really want to reorder them but it just shows like ugh. If it does it again, then I'm not going to rebuy them. I will just have to find a better quality one. But I do really, really like these, especially for work. I'm in the bin. Okay, I've cleared the table a bit. Like a kitchen table. There's so much junk. Like, why is the eye in here? I don't know if I've talked about this, but my current read is Magnolia Parks by Jesse Hastings. This is a chunky ass book, but I'm almost to the end. I feel like I'm three quarters in. This is like a big, chunky 700 page book, but it's so addicting. I think this is like the fifth book in the series and it's so good, it's so good. This, I want to finish this actually with the book because I've been using it, reading it on my Kindle. I might fin try and read as much as I can later today. Um, but yeah, if you haven't read Magnolia Parks, I definitely recommend it if you like, I don't know, like Gossip Girl London, Rich Girl vibes. It's, they say it's a bit toxic, but I think that's what makes it addicting. I mean, isn't great, uh, like isn't Grey's Anatomy vampire diaries like all the like hyped up shows that we loved before they all have a bit of toxicity in it and i think that's what makes this like really addicting and ugh, i love the characters so much so i definitely recommend that anyways i'm gonna do laundry and i'm gonna do change the bed sheets and i think i'm done <coughs> i'm so hungry 
just got two sides. This is literally all mine. And this is Harvey's. Sorry, sorry. This is mine. Okay, that's more reasonable. So I was like, what the hell did I order? I got Aisha Begum on, on YouTube. Which in her vlog. Anyways. Um, how do I open this? It's like matcha shoe bun. Look at that. That looks so young. I'm gonna put that in the fridge. Got the yakitori sticks. I didn't really want like much to be honest. Rasu curry kind of side. It's new. This I'm looking forward to, but it's cold. Je me dis ça attend. Je m'attendais une sauce ici là. Ça c'est quoi? Ça c'est quoi? Come here, buy it. I literally don't even know what I'm doing. Like that wasn't even, I don't even know why I ordered. But anyways, this is the roti I, mine looks so dead now. <laughs> this is the one I ordered. Every time I order, yeah, like Harvey's stuff looks way better than mine. And then I end up eating in his thing. And then, okay, then you have the rasu curry sauce. That's what I wanted. You would think it would be warm enough. No, no. It's a sweet potato. Even you've done a lot of food. It's good, but... When I saw it visually, I thought it was a lot of food. It's too cold, it's too cold. Okay, let's do a taste test of the roti. Roti! Should we go girls? Oh no, I can't do that. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about it. Mmm. The yakitori sticks just doesn't ever fail me. On dirait un truc qui vient dans un carton. T'as commandé avant quand même après bon. Je crois que t'as commandé dans un restaurant. Ça par contre c'est bon. And I thought it was a good thing. The roti and the sauce, disgusting. I didn't like it. Yakitori sticks always a pass. 10 out of 10. Okay, let's try the shoe bun, whatever this is. I don't know what this thick stuff is. I didn't have luck with my food today. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not a fan. I'm very disappointed with my food today. I think I'm going to end the vlog here, guys, and don't worry. I feel like I'm gonna vlog way more. If you guys enjoyed this little vlog, let me know if you did. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!